Hey guys, uh, long time, no post. Um, just wanted to put out a video as soon as I could. Um, finally got some video editing software and there's tons to update on. So this video is kind of like a review for the AGM Taipan uh, infrared thermal monocular. Um, here you can see I am looking at deer um, and some kids uh, in the forest and one of the cool things is that this monocular is able to pick it up from really, really far away. That'll be shown later in the video. I do cut scenes pretty quickly here, so I'll try and make, make this quick. Um, it has four different modes, as you can see, uh, black hot, white hot, fusion, and red hot, which highlights the hottest object on the screen. Um, so, very, very useful in not only science experiments, um, but just everyday stuff like leak detection and, and things. And this is not a paid ad, by the way. Um, I just love this thing so much that I wanted to make a YouTube video on it. Um, so this is a scene where I drove out to like a field. I live out in New Mexico now. Um, and those cows a second ago are roughly about 300 feet away. And mostly everything does look normal uh, compared to how you see it with your eyes. And um, tracking objects that are fast moving is really, really good with this camera. It has a refresh rate of about 50 hertz, which is faster than, than most regular digital cameras. Um, so here I'm just kind of looking around and there's a couple of cool things that we can check out with this. You can see the engine heat there on that SUV passing by. And the next scene is of um, water, actually, of sprayed water. So this is really interesting to me because water is clear for us, but in thermal, um, you actually only see the temperature of the water. It's completely opaque, surprisingly. Um, so the different modes make it easier to see uh, the water in different settings. And this is of some birds flying overhead, which doesn't sound super exciting. Um, but it is a good example of tracking objects that are moving pretty quickly. Um, it is partially zoomed in as a thermal camera, so it's a little shaky and I do apologize. But as they fly overhead, you can clearly tell that, that they are birds, even though it was pretty fast. So this is an interesting situation here. Um, this is near Arches National Park, and you can see a little bit of movement out there. And it's a complex background, I do realize. But one of the things that I found out is that hot rocks actually are very good at hiding people. There's actually about three people in the scene, at least, that are moving around up there and they are very difficult to see due to the shadows and light and dark. So, kind of hard to pick up. This is at night, and uh, I've, that is a coyote, and I actually had a little bit of a scare filming this. Um, so I'm gonna go over some of the uh, detector stuff. This is actually a really sensitive detector. You can see footprints, hoof prints, hand prints, paw prints, and they're visible for a few minutes inside, um, which is amazing because that's like 20 thousandths of a degree Kelvin. Um, it does detect objects that are colder than the sensor. This is not actually a cooled sensor array. Um, another thing is that humidity plays a pretty big role in long range visibility. The higher the humidity, the worse your visibility is. Um, and let's see, this is the TM15384 and the resolution actually is a little bit better than what the video shows. Um, and it can also stream via Wi-Fi up to about 100 feet away. So that's just about it for me. I will be Posting more soon, hopefully. Sorry for the quick chopping. Bye.